What is Mastodon and why should I use it? Well, Mastodon is another social network. It is most similar to Twitter, but tends to have better features such as the ability to edit your toots. Yeah, that's what they're called. Instead of tweets, they're toots. And even longer message links. But the main strong point of Mastodon is that it's decentralized. Decentralization of a service is nice because it means your data is not stored on one server. It is passed around to other Mastodon nodes, and there's not one company or admin that can control what you post. This gives you more freedom and less worry that you are going to be blocked due to some company worried about their sponsors not liking what you have to say. Another nice thing about Mastodon is that you can create your profile on any one of thousands of Mastodon servers, and folks will still see your toots. I know, it's a funny word, but I have to say it. Why would you want to switch to Mastodon over, say, something like Twitter? Well, currently it is a smaller network. There are much less folks on Mastodon than there are on Twitter, but this is not an issue. As you can see from my global Mastodon feed, there is plenty of traffic. But a good reason to switch is you can truly curate your feed to things that you want to read. Sometimes simply being on the right Mastodon node will give you a local feed of content that you are interested in. For example, there are several Linux-centric nodes that the local feed is Linux content rich. I've also seen nodes based on other hobbies such as drones, gaming, movies, and even witchcraft. Also, you can follow other people even if they are on different nodes. That would be your personal feed where you'd see that. The Mastodon server software is also open source and not too difficult to install. If you have some skills installing and running services on your Linux box, you can run your own Mastodon node. You could be the only person on your node. Be kind of lonely, but you could do it. I really recommend joining one of the many Mastodon nodes that are already out there. In fact, I have set up a node at fratom.com, and you are welcome to join. So, should you switch to Mastodon? Well, that really is up to you. I would love to see more people using it. If you would like to create a Mastodon account on the fratom.com node, you can by going to https colon slash slash m.fratom.com and signing up. I'm keeping the sign up open to the first hundred people. After that, the node will become an invite only node. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know the content of this video tonight was a little different than the content I usually do, but I really wanted to cover Mastodon. I think it's a great social network and a great alternative to stuff like Twitter and Facebook. I hope you give it a try. If you do, follow me. I'm at fratum at m.fratum.com. I'll post that on the screen so you can see it. Anyways, I hope you have a great night. Thanks a lot.